What's up, Hoop fans? We're back with another video analysis. In this video, we'll dive into the Panathinaikos vs. Bayern matchup, marking the Greens' debut in their newly revamped arena. We'll explore key plays, defensive strategies, and standout performances that defined this exciting game. Let's jump in and see how the action unfolded. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also support the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. Buckle up and let's dive into the breakdown. In this match, the Greens focused on pushing the pace right from the first quarter, with Nunn and Osman leading the charge. Watch how Osman is always ready to sprint down the open court whenever a teammate, or even he, secures a rebound, setting the tone for quick transition plays. This season, expect to see more transition plays, especially with Nunn, Osman, Brown, and Juancho on the court. Of course, we saw the cornerstone of Adaman's offense, the spread pick and roll. Nunn is taking his game to another level this season. Watch him punish the high tag by attacking the closeout and hitting a mid-range shot. Check out the ankle breaker against Edwards and more key plays. With Slukas not in top form, likely still recovering from injury, Nunn, along with Brown and Grant, had to carry the team. Brown is a true pick-and-roll maestro, fitting into the team as if he's been there for years. Watch him dismantle the drop defense, whether driving left to score, using a snake move, or hitting Lessort on the short roll when Booker steps up. Juancho Hernan Gomez delivered another standout performance with a double-double, scoring 12 points and grabbing 11 rebounds, including five offensive boards. His defensive presence was impressive once again, and just two games into the season, Juancho is already playing on a new level. He's contributing offensively too, which was an area of inconsistency last season. Matthias Lesor has picked up right where he left off, in unbeatable form, dominating every match. He's averaging 18 points and 7 rebounds per game, making it tough for any opponent to stop him.
While it's still early in the season and Adaman is experimenting with lineups and strategies, it's too soon for solid conclusions about the Greens' overall playstyle. However, we can highlight some key aspects from their game against Bayern. We observed Adaman's signature hedge-out defense from last season, including blitzing Napier and hedge-outs with high and low tags. Additionally, there was aggressive drop coverage with Lessort and Slukas, as well as triple switch and plain switch defenses featuring Juancho and Grant. This is a classic hedge-out coverage by the Greens. They use high hands to block passing lanes with Juancho providing the low tag. He then quickly closes out to contest the three. Here you can see a triple switch between Grant, Nunn, and Osman to avoid the mismatch in the low post. With Yurtseven on the court, the Greens switch to a basic drop coverage. Watch the Wancho-Grant duo here in switch defense. They're legit defensive cheats. Grant delivers tough low post defense against Da Silva, with Wancho securing the rebound. Next, Wancho switches on Obst, top locks him, then rotates to switch on Madar, forcing a turnover alongside Yurt7. The Greens showcase their defensive intensity with 12 steals and 4 blocks, reflecting the level of play they consistently displayed in home games last season. Let's examine what Herbert attempted against the champions. He tried disrupting their hedge-out defense with empty corner actions, specifically using a double ball screen into a flare. He also aimed to involve Kendrick Nunn in off-ball screens, which we'll explore later. Notice how this setup breaks the hedge-out rules due to the lack of a tagger, with Osman left standing in the paint as Booker sets a side pick and pop. However, the Greens countered this approach with active hands and deflections.
Herbert targeted Kendrick Nunn with off-ball actions to exploit his occasional lapses in concentration and looseness when navigating screens. Similarly, Herbert aimed to exploit Slukas on ball screens, particularly using Yam Madar to attack and create mismatches. Herbert implemented a press defense not aggressively to steal the ball, but to disrupt the tempo, run down the shot clock, and interrupt the flow of the plays. In addition, Herbert utilized a box-and-one defense that successfully disrupted the greens, cutting the point deficit to just five. The greens appeared unprepared for this defensive strategy, but their overall quality proved too much for Bayern to handle. Ultimately, they secured a 94-79 victory in their first game at the newly revamped arena. When Bayern closed the gap to five points, Grant hit a clutch three, breaking their momentum. Soon after, Juancho sank another, halting Bayern's comeback efforts. Jerry and Grant's ability to make clutch or difficult shots, especially when the offense is stalled, is generally underrated. Mm -hmm. 